back here, poor! You're in serious Yo, trouble! leave me alone! This neighborhood is for rich people, not people like you! Get out of here, you smell like trash! What's wrong with this guy? I never- ah! Oh, man. Oh, a dollar. This is exactly the luck that I needed. I'm gonna turn this dollar into a trillion dollars. Oh, man, I'm in a lot of pain though. Hey, yo! Yeah, hey, look, can you call me an ambulance? I think I'm hurt. You attacked my Tesla, you monster! What? I didn't attack your Tesla. Liar! Get out of here! You're ruining this place! This dollar is gonna make me a trillionaire, and you'll all see. I know it's just one dollar, but it's the most money I've had in weeks. I think my luck's gonna start to change. I'm gonna make some serious moves. Oh, jeez, I didn't even think about this. I gotta get out of here before the rich people call the cops on me. Whoa, 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 hold your horses, bub. What's wrong? It's two dollars to ride the bus. You don't look like you got a penny. Man, man, man. I, need I need to, to save, save this dollar. dollar. Look, I only have a dollar, but I need it. Please, can I just, I just have to get home. I gotta get on the other side of the city. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the heck? Shut up! You don't have a home! Get a job and stop being a poor loser! I just fell on hard times, but it's gonna get better. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. Well, 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 look who it is! No, look, Finkleberry, I didn't do anything! Do you think I'm stupid? Uh, yeah, kind of. Shut up! You're in trouble, mister. Being in the rich neighborhood, you know the rules. No porgies allowed in here. It's not a crime. I don't care. Your face is a crime. You're coming with no, me. No, I don't think what? so, Fartberry. No, I'm out of here. Stop running. I hate running. No, I'm going to get you. <laughs> oh, man. Glad Finkleberry can't run to save his life. I should be safe from those mean rich people now. Lucky as I am to have this dollar, there's not a whole lot I can buy with it. I haven't had money since that flood that destroyed my town. I'm so hungry. Hey, stop talking to yourself. You scared away my customers. Dude, why don't you shut up? You're so mean. What are you talking about? There's no one here. Yeah, well, uh, you can't be here. If you ain't got no money to buy nothing, you better get out. Yeah, well, this dollar could be an opportunity for me to make more money. I still love cooking. I want to be a chef someday. Hey, how much is this stuff over here? Yeah, that junk? Eh, no one wants it. You can have it for a dollar if you really want it. Great, give me that food then. Fine, whatever. Just get out of my store. You're stinking up the place. Ugh. This is great. I can't wait to open a food stand with this money. Oh, man, hopefully someone buys this stuff. Worked really hard. Hey, what are you selling? It's my family's recipe. It's my favorite soup. Uh, it smells really good. I'd like to try it. How much? A dollar a bowl. A dollar? <laughs> yeah, sure, here. Whoa, this is the best soup I've ever had. Wow, this is amazing. Did you really make this? Thanks, yeah. I, I want to expand my business, but this is all I could afford to do right now. Hold on a second. Let me text my friends. They've got to try this. Well, sorry, everyone. I'm officially sold out. Oh, uh, come on, man. Oh, I wanted more. You've got a lot of potential with this stuff, Shane. I could see this soup being served in like a five-star restaurant. I have friends that are influencers, and they're posting about it right now. Well, thanks, Tony. I made 25 bucks today. I'm so excited. 25 bucks? That's not a lot of money, but I guess it's a start. It's a lot of money to me. Someday I'll have more money than this. I'm gonna be a trillionaire. This is just the start. Yeah, keep at it. I'd love to help you if I can. If you need me for anything, dude, just let me know. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, man. $25. I'm still excited. I made this much. I can't believe it. I knew I could turn this dollar into more money. And this is the first step to a brand new life. Man, I just miss my family so much. I wish they were here to see this. They all died in that flood. I wish that I could have them back. I want to make them proud. I want to make sure that no one has to go hungry or live on the streets again. And this little bit of money, it's going to start everything. I, uh, I heard you have some money. Give it to me, idiot! No, man. Worked hard for that. Just leave me alone. Worked hard? Oh, you're a sucker. All I have to do is rob people. It's easier. It's a terrible way to live and treat people. Well, I don't care what you have to say. Give me your money. No! Oh. Ah! Yeah, thanks for the hard work, loser. <laughs> Gosh, why? Can't let this set me back. I have to become a trillionaire. Gosh, man. And I got no more money to buy food. Means I can't make any more food to sell. I'm not gonna have any money. Think, Shane. What am I gonna do? Hey, Shane. What's on the menu for today, dude? Oh, it's gonna be burgers, but I have to close down, man. Close down? What? Why? 
got robbed last night. I've got no money. I lost everything. Can't buy more food. Oh, man, that's awful. I'm so sorry. Well, I guess maybe I can try to find a job or something. I need to get some more money to reinvest in my stand, but no one wants to hire me. All these rich people are so mean around here. Hmm. You know, I'm always interested in making investments. Hey, if I gave you $100, do you think you could turn it into 1000 Oh, yeah, I definitely could. I mean, obviously, I'd need 100 bucks, but I think I could do it. Well, here, turn this into $1,000. Just pay me back 500 and the rest is yours. Wait, dude, are you serious? This is too much. No, I'm absolutely serious. I think you can do this easily. I have faith in you, Shane. The most money I've had at one time in so long. Thank you, Tony. I, I won't let you down, man. Well, that's all for our interview with Shane, the city's newest and biggest food stand sensation. Wow, thanks for the interview. Anytime. Thanks for a great news segment. I might get a promotion for this. Sports segment, here I come. What the heck do you think you're doing here? Uh, I'm selling food to people, and it makes everyone happy. You want some? Ew, no. Terry Richmond doesn't eat trashy food off the streets, and I don't need any smelly bums trying to sell food at this park. I'm invested in all local restaurants, but not this one. I won't stand for people messing with my business. Well, this is public property, so I can kind of do whatever I want here. Hold on, give me one second. What are you doing, man? Um, hello? I'm on the phone? Rude. Donovan? Yes, I want it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I own the park now, so everyone needs to leave. What? No way, you can't do this. I'm Terry Richmond, and I can do whatever I want. This park is now going to be called Richmond Park, and you have to pay $20,000 to even enter. That's ridiculous. No, you can't do yeah, this. Yeah, you suck. Shut up. I don't care what you think. You're all poor. Leave my park or get arrested. See if I care. Welcome to the junkyard, home of junk and uh, stuff. What, what do you want? Hey, man, I saw that you might have a food truck for sale. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on a second. Aren't you that homeless guy that cooks or something? Uh, yeah, that's me. Yeah, I knew I recognized you. I saw you on the news last night. I got a food truck you can buy. $5,000. Hmm, that's a good amount of my money, but... I think I can do it. Are you lying to me right now? You pulling my chain here? Oh, dude, I've got the money. Wow, you're surprised. You look like you got seven cents to your name. Hey, that's a weird thing to say. You shouldn't judge people like that, dude. Just give me the 5K and you can have this stupid truck. Get it off my junkyard. All right, cool, whatever, man. Here you go. Cool. Get it off my property in five minutes or I'm keeping it. All right, dude, calm down. This is gonna be great. I can't wait to sell more food. Spent all my money on this truck, but by the looks of this crowd, I should be able to make $5,000 back just a day. Yo, food's gonna be ready soon, everyone. Officer, this man is operating in my park without a permit. No, oh, actually, I looked it up. I'm allowed to be here for three days without one. You're a liar, a poor, good for nothing liar, and you're trying to ruin my businesses. I have a lot invested in this city, and this homeless loser thinks he can just start a business without cutting me in. I don't think so. Not on my watch, which is a Rolex, by the well, way. Well, he's allowed to start his own business, you know. He doesn't need your permission. And he's right. He has three days before we can do anything. Uh, you're useless and poor, just like everyone else. Hey, man, don't listen to Terry. Have some food on me. Whoa, this is the best burger I've ever had. Look, Shane isn't breaking any laws, so there's nothing I can do. You should buy some of this food, though. It's really good. I'm going to destroy you. You're not going to come into this city and be more successful than me. No one is. Yes, I will. I'm going to be a trillionaire someday. I'll have more money than you. And there'll be nothing you can do about it. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Ew, out of my way, poor. Get out of the way. Whoa, I never thought I'd be back here delivering food to one of these houses. These aren't even houses, they're mansions. <laughs> I can't believe that poor loser fell for this. No one wants his trash food, especially not in this neighborhood. <laughs> this is going to teach this dumb loser. No one messes with Terry Richman. Ha! And boom! Ha ha! Goodbye, food truck. And goodbye, stupid, poor, pathetic shame. Oh, weird. I guess I must have had the wrong address. What the? No, 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 no. My food truck. No! 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 Yes, the truck was fine one minute, the next it was on fire, Fartberry. Listen, idiot. Trucks don't just catch on fire, okay? This is reality, idiot. Well, I'm telling you that's what happened. Believe me or don't, it's the truth. I know the truth. 
You were the one who set fire to your own truck for the insurance money. That doesn't make any sense, Finkleberry. I was making more money than my insurance would have paid me back in one day. I would never do that. I don't even have insurance. You don't even have insurance? Wow, you really are stupid, huh? You need insurance if you're going to commit insurance fraud. I'm not trying to create more crimes. I'm trying to make a business. Dude, get out of my police station. Oh, gosh, Finkleberry is ridiculous. Excuse me, are you Shine? Yeah, man. Who are you? Otto Van Do, multi-billionaire business mogul. I'm sure you've heard of me, and I heard what happened to your truck. I'm here to offer you a deal. Uh, okay, what is it? I'll pay you $100,000 to cook at my exclusive party. It's an excellent opportunity to get to know some of my friends as well. I've known some very influential people with very deep bank accounts. Whoa, $100,000? Yeah, man, I'm there. Thank you. Oh, dude, your home is beautiful, Otto. Y'all, great, thanks. You're a little underdressed, but uh, I guess this will do. Are you ready to cook? Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Follow me. I'll show you to the kitchen. Otto! Incredible party as always, my old friend. <laughs> uh, I'm curious. Why didn't you use my catering business? You've always booked my business for your parties. Because they're all terrible, Terry. I figured I'd hire someone that makes food with excellent taste. What? This homeless man is cooking all your food? I'm not homeless. Even if I was, who cares? You should just try some of my food before judging it, man. Yeah, Terry. Hey, have some. Oh my gosh, this food's amazing. Excellent job, Shane. Yeah, if you like cafeteria food. Oh! Shut up, Terry! No one likes you! This isn't over, you know that? Here you go, Shane, as promised. Here's your money. Thanks for the opportunity, Otto. Please keep me in mind for the future. Uh, trust me, I will. This is the most money I've ever had in my whole life. Getting closer to becoming a trillionaire. I'm gonna make a real difference. This is gonna be great! I don't know. Do you really think this is gonna work? This is the right move. I want to become a trillionaire, and I believe in this business model. It's time we expand. Yeah, I think it's time too. It's a good idea. So you think you're gonna embarrass me in front of everybody like you did? Do you have any idea who was at that party last night? Elon Musk was there! Elon! And he laughed in my face! You embarrassed yourself, Terry. Not my fault. Yeah, get out of here, Terry. Mind your own business. You started taking business from me, and I don't like it. I take my business seriously, unlike you pathetic trash heaps. Well, then maybe you should be better at business. Stop expecting people to like your food when you're not offering them anything good. You don't care about people. That's your problem. Yeah, dude, and your food is overpriced garbage. It actually kind of suits you. I'm just the money man. I invest. I don't actually make the food or do anything. That's for poor people like you two. And since you keep being annoying, I'll give you a million dollars right now for your business. Oh. oh. Hey, hold on, dude. That's a million dollars. I know he sucks, but... No, I don't care. The answer is no. I want to be a trillionaire someday, and I want to earn it myself. Plus, I worked hard for what I have. I'm not going to give it to you so you can ruin it. You're saying no? Oh, you're an idiot. You'll lose one way or another, and there's no way you'll be a trillionaire. Shane, you were right. We made a million dollars this week alone. Buying more trucks was definitely the right move. No, I'm glad it's working out. We have 30 trucks now all over the city, and soon we'll have them in other cities too. Yeah, look, there's one outside right now. This is really cool. I think I was homeless not that long ago, and we built this together. You should be proud of yourself, dude. Not many people can say they've done something like this. Proud, but I'm not done yet. This is only the beginning. Okay, so what do you want to do next? You need to open up actual restaurants and create lines of food for people to buy from grocery stores. Maybe cookware, spices, sauces. Whoa, whoa, hey, this is really ambitious. I know it is, but I'm not scared. I've already lost all the important things in my life. Now I want to accomplish my goal. I also think we could use our earnings to help the community. I completely agree. Well, let's start there. I want to start making a change in people's lives, and I think we can start that now. Thank you for coming, everyone. This food truck will provide free food for anyone who needs it. I know what it's like to be homeless and go for days without food. 
And I don't want anyone to have to feel that way again. Wow, thanks, Shane. This is incredible. No problem. It wasn't that long ago that you helped me when I was living on these streets. I was cold and you gave me an extra blanket, remember? During that really hard winter? Wait, wait. You remember that? Of course I do. I wouldn't be where I am without you. I probably would have froze to death. Oh, well, I'm just glad I could help. I want to help more too. If anyone wants to earn some money, I can find jobs for you all, no problem. Oh, I'd love a job. Yeah, thank you. No one ever wants to take a chance on us. I cannot believe this is happening. You're opening a business near one of my properties? Unacceptable. A property. All these old buildings and all this stuff, this is all mine. Mine! Well, the street isn't yours. Plus, this place is free. I'm just helping everyone out. Who cares about that? I do. You should care about people, too. I care about people that make me money, not these people. How can you get mad at me for helping a homeless person? Are you seriously that miserable of a person? I don't know. I just hate you. It seems to be the best way to expand instead of buying more food trucks. You're right. It's way more efficient. You think a real restaurant in a brand new city. This is going to be incredible. Oh! No, no, you gotta close this place down, man. You can't be doing this over here. Eunice? That's right. And what's the big idea, huh? You think you can just open a restaurant next to my fine eating establishment? No way, man. Well, actually, we can't. Well, actually, you can shut up. And I'll put you out of business if it's the last thing I do. Oh, great. Okay, look, we're not trying to put you out of business, Eunice. Well, you are, and you should listen better. Man, your food isn't very good. You're kind of mean to everybody. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, man, that's because I'm Eunice. And just get out of my way. Terry and I are going to bury you. <laughs> that guy works with Terry? <laughs> figures not worried about them i've had their food and it's terrible plus they don't care about people like that he's super mean all the time they're just jealous because i'm getting richer than terry now you know you might actually become a trillionaire any day now i will this guy makes me mad man me too their restaurant isn't even open yet i was thinking we should go in and mess with it yeah dude maybe we can break some stuff <laughs> I love breaking stuff. Well, I happen to know they have a health inspection coming tomorrow. I already got the tip from the guy at City Hall. Wow, you know someone at City Hall? Obviously, Eunice. Why do you think you keep passing health inspections? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go show this idiot who's boss now. Now it's time we show the health inspector how disgusting and gross this place is. We've got to make them fail miserably. <laughs> I already farted! It smells so bad! Ew, no, Eunice, you're the worst. We have to do more than that. Yeah, I know! Well, now let's trash this place so I can get out of here! I got a bunion the size of a golf ball, man! And I need to sand it off the bottom of my foot! That is absolutely terrifying! And you are absolutely right! <laughs> let's trash this place! Alright! Now let the master of trash show you how it's done! Yo, what's up, dude? Are you joking with me right now? What are you talking about, man? Dude, this place is disgusting. You literally have trash everywhere. There's toxic waste on the floor. No, I don't. That place was spotless yesterday. I cleaned it myself. Lies! You're getting an F. And honestly, this place should be condemned right now. The worst place I've ever seen in my life. You should be ashamed of yourself. Terrible excuse for a business owner. I don't believe it. I've had enough of you, man. No, something isn't right. I'm telling you. What the heck? This place is totally trashed and... Oh, that smell. Man, I know Terry was behind this. It had to have been. This is low, even for him. Now I gotta fix this mess. Man, I'm sorry to hear about your new restaurant being shut down. Such a shame. No, it's not right. We run our business legit and to the highest standard. Now, no city outside of here is gonna listen to us. Like no one wants our business anymore. Otto, look, man, you're powerful, influential. Could you use your connections to help us expand into new areas? We really use your help right now. I mean, I'd love to help, but your credibility's damaged. It'd be a big thing for me to endorse you. I'm putting my own reputation on the line here. Look, you've watched me cook. I've had my food like a million times. You know I'm not doing any of these things that the health inspector said. It was Terry. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
I mean, his restaurants do suck. I believe in you. Like when you were that underdressed kid at my party. I mean, your outfit was tragic. But I'll put the word out and I'll endorse your business, Shane. You'll never regret backing us, Otto. I promise you that. Thanks again, Otto. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Now you boys got a lot of work to do. And I've got a flight to Paris to get on. So, like, don't let me down. All that hassle. Opening night's finally here. I can't believe we actually made it this far. In no time, we'll be trillionaires. Just wait, Tony. Help, help! Oh, please help me! You again. I know you're up to something, Eunice. I need help! You need to leave. Now, come on, Eunice, let's no, go. No, I've been poisoned! Don't eat the food, everyone! It's poison! He's lying! He's just trying to sabotage our restaurant. I don't know. I don't really want to eat poisoned food. Yeah, this place sucks. I hate it here. I want to go home. You lose, you bum. <laughs> Just leave. You think sabotaging my opening night is funny? Yeah, yeah, I do. You admit it. You were lying. Of course I'm lying. That's what I do. Not really poison, man. Look at me. I'm great. Well, it didn't work. I don't care. Harry paid me half a million dollars just to mess with you. Of course he did. I'm going to beat Terry. I'm going to be way more successful than him, and he's going to hate it. Not as much as he hates you. He hates you a lot, man. Talks about it all the time. Kind of annoying, honestly. How much did he pay for this restaurant? He paid me $1 million. <laughs> Can you believe it? Seriously, for this place? Hey, I provide my customers terrible food in a terrible atmosphere. That don't come cheap. All right, look, here's what I'm going to do. I'll give you $1.5 million for it right now. But you have to buy Terry out. Sure, fine. Give me the money, man. Here you go. Tell Terry I own this place now. Oh, yeah. I'm rich, man. Yeah, you're also fired. Get out of here. Oh, what the heck, dude? Go, Eunice. Fine, whatever. If Terry wants to destroy my business, then I'll just buy his too. Now I can fix this place up and just start over. Jane. Buying Terry and Eunice's restaurant is actually a really smart move. Now we've got two completely different brands. And guess what? We're about to open restaurants from your first concept too. Oh, and uh, by the way, you just made your first billion dollars. Whoa, my first billion? That's one step closer to my goal. Word on the street is you're a billionaire now. Yeah, I guess I am. Well, if it wasn't for my restaurant investment, you'd be nowhere. What are you talking about? I bought you out and invested more than you ever did. Plus you ran that place into the ground because you didn't care about your customers. I still don't care, but I won't let you be richer than me. Well, you'll have to deal with it, Terry. Besides, there's more to life than money. Wealth shouldn't even matter in the first place. Well, it matters to me more than anything. These restaurants suck. Don't eat here. The food is trash. Shut up, you crazy old man. The food's the best. There are too many poor people around here for my liking anyways. Can't believe it. We got everything rebuilt. I knew giving back to where I came from would be great for this community. Shane. Martin. Wow, man, look at you. Yeah, I clean up pretty good, huh? Just wanted to say, thank you for everything you've done for us. Of course. I wanted to prove that with hard work and a little help, anyone can bounce back. And if it wasn't for you offering us all places to work at your restaurants and food trucks, we'd never be here. Don't worry about it. I'm just happy everyone's doing well. This is what it's all about, giving back and making a difference. Everybody here owes you the world. Some of us felt lost, hopeless, forgotten about. But you came back. And with your help, we all came a long way. We all just want to say thank you. No one owes me anything. Not even a thank you. Like I said, if it wasn't for you, I probably would have died out here. If anything, I owe you all more. I'll be forever grateful for all you guys. And it doesn't end here. Opportunities are going to keep coming. But this is my office building! Mm, sir, there's nothing else I can do. My hands are tied. I, I know I'm late on payments, okay? I just need like another day or two. You never paid us for this building. You keep missing your payments. It's too late. But I, I need to run my business. How am I supposed to do that without an office? Not our problem. We have someone who's going to take it off of our hands. Take it up with him. You? No. No, how is this possible? A homeless idiot bought my building? You don't have that kind of money. This is outrageous. Relax. I actually came here to offer you something. What? What could you have to offer me that I'd be remotely interested in? Oh, well, I thought I'd do you a favor and let you keep using the office. You gotta learn how to be friends, man. Be friends? I don't want any favors from you, and I don't want your pity or your handouts. And I definitely don't want to be your friend. Fine, I'll keep it then. 
I expect you out by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Wait, wait hold on. What? No! It's incredible how much money we've made over these past months. According to these financial reports, we're getting close to half a trillion dollars now. We have more money than we'll ever be able to spend. So, speaking of, what do you think our next move should be? I mean, you're always the man with the plan, so what do you have in mind? I still want to give back more to the community and help them. I agree. There's so much more we could be doing, and that'd be a great thing for everybody. What do you plan to do with the money? I'm going to start a program with our restaurants to help the homeless across the country. That's a big ambition. A big challenge. Well, it'll be worth it. Trust me. I've got some big ideas. And now that I have this money, I can make it happen. And the reward is always worth the challenge. So, you know I'm ready for this. I think it's perfect. I'll take it. Really? What are you going to do with it? I plan on using it to help homeless people get back on their feet. I was once like them before someone helped me out. Everyone needs help sometimes. Who knows what these people could become if we just give them a chance. Whatever you say, weirdo. Here's the permit. Congratulations or something. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, could you please uh, go? Yeah, with pleasure. Say, if I said I needed help with like, I don't know, I need like 20 million dollars. Just go, dude. Shane! Shane! Stop right there! Stop! What's up, Terry? Did you reconsider my deal at the old office building? You cost me everything! I lost my business because of you! I'm a total failure now! And they even took away my yacht club membership! And my yacht! Not my fault, your businesses are failing. Yes, it is! My life was perfect until you showed up! And now it's falling apart! Look, I'm offering you a chance to save your business. We could split profits, and you could even buy that building back from me. You must take me for a fool, don't you? Never! I will never take help from you! Alright, man, suit yourself. Good luck with everything. Ugh, I'll find a way to get back at you, Shane! This is your fault, and you're going to pay! Quite a view, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. I can't believe you bought this entire building. I know. We have so many businesses now. I'm almost a trillionaire. I believe you'll be there soon. I bet you'll be a trillionaire in a week. What the heck is that? Uh, Shane, is that your car? What is he doing? Terry, ah, ah, ah. stop! What's going on? I'm broke! I lost everything now! Some stupid homeless loser like you gets all of it? No! I worked for all of this, Terry. You could have too. You could have been my friend, but you turned me down and you made your own choices. I will never be your friend. And I'll, I'll be on top again. You'll see. I'll have so much money and I'll own your company in a year. Yeah, man, that's not going to happen. But, you know, if you need help, I'm here to help you change. I'm not changing anything. I'm perfect. <laughs> Wake, wake up, up sir. sir! Hey, hey wake, wake up! up. Oh, and my head. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. What happened? Where's Terry? Ah, don't worry. We got him. Your friend Tony called us and we caught him attacking your car. You want to press charges? No. No? Look, I understand why he's upset. Hopefully this is a lesson for him that he shouldn't just expect the world to owe him something. That's a weird call. I guess I get it. Shane, you can't be serious. After everything he's done, he deserves it. Bury this guy. Make him feel the pain. I already did. What do you think? I've got lots of people that are interested, but I know you'll do good things with the property. You've got a deal. Here's a hundred billion dollars. This is all my money. What an incredible business opportunity. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. This is crazy amount of money. I'm going to go take this check to the bank. Wow, this is a big one. I'll deposit this right away for you, sir. Oh my gosh! Holy sweet potatoes! Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. It's more than okay. You're like a trillionaire officially. I can't believe it. I really did it. You know what? Let's celebrate. I want you to send a million dollars to every single person in this town. Are you sure? Really? Yeah, come on. Send the money. I want to help everyone out. 